Hey everybody, OCD Mikey here, Hi-Fi Guy. I'm back with you for some more 411 on what's happening with the sales of Hi-Fi and what are some of the inside information that you will not get from most dealers. Either they don't know it or they're not going to tell you. So I'll tell you a little story here. The story is about Playback Designs and another company we'll call Jagra. Just think it's like Jaguar, Jagra, okay? Use your imagination, okay? Um, we'll start with Playback Designs, which we may as well call Wayback Designs, okay? Jump in the Wayback Machine because the guy who invented sample rate conversion is the guy who founded Playback Designs, okay? And his name is Andreas Koch. Uh, this means, I mean, just let that sink in a second. The guy who invented sample rate conversion, he's on the patent. Um, that pretty much makes him granddaddy digital music. Okay. Um, so he started his first career job was making the digital gear for Studer, the master tape company. This is the tape, the, the, the machine is made in Switzerland. He's a Swiss man. And he created the very first digital recording gear for Studer, who is the company that's in all the recording studios that makes the top level, along with Ampex, recording machines, okay, tape recording machines. That was his first job. He left there, came to USA, worked for Sony, got hired with Sony, and created SACD, okay? So SACD was his project. He designed that. SACD as is, is Sony's name for DSD. Okay, that's their trademark. So he did that. He hired Ed Meitner at the time to do the analog output section of the DACs that they were creating. Okay, so let that sink in as well. Together, Andreas Koch and Ed Meitner were working at Sony, had developed SACD or DSD. Andreas went on to design the only console, mixing console, that could work in straight DSD without PCM conversion. The importance of that is PCM has nonlinear distortion and that, that uh, DSD does not. So it's a superior recording technology for many reasons. And again, this could be opinion. Some people's opinion might be that PCM is better. Whatever, that's not my opinion, it's not Andreas's opinion, and other people's opinion. It's just a different way to do it. The single bit versus multi-bit. I won't go into all that, okay? The bottom line is Andreas designed SACD and DSD as we know it was designed by Andreas. And the output of the DAX, the analog output, was done by Ed Meitner, who Andreas had hired at the time, okay? So uh, uh, also during that time, the you know he created the, the the Sonoma system, which was a Sony mixing console, the only console that could could do mixing in raw DSD. And after that, after that was created, they went on to start a company, M Labs, which you've heard about, some of the best DACs around. And for the first three years, Andreas created all the digital section. Uh, Ed did all the analog section. Okay, and they created those were the best DACs out at the time. Okay. Anybody ask anybody, they'll tell you, yeah, M Labs was the, that was the, the there was nothing better. Uh, Andreas left there after three years, went on to start Playback Designs because he had some ideas about how to handle those, the, uh, the anomalies pre ringing, to be specific, with digital conversion. Imagine you're trying to take something digital and convert it to analog. You're trying to take a step function, which is very unnatural, digital, and turn it into something natural, an analog sine wave. It's very hard. It's riddled with problems. Um, and people go about it different ways. But Andreas has figured out a way to take care of pre-ringing so that his DACs do not sound digital. Most every other DAC, every other DAC, I'm going to say that, every other DAC that I've owned in some way lets me know it's a little harsh, it's a little digital, okay? Andreas created single bit architecture based on FPGA software based DAC. So any DAC that you hear out there, APL is one, um, AudioByte is another, these stem from Andreas's research. Andreas is the one that created it. 
they followed and did their own way. They knew the rough, the rough uh, uh, strokes, shall I say, and, and then they created their own way of doing it. Andreas is the inventor of single bit FPGA based conversion. Okay, so he's granddaddy digital music. He's granddaddy take care of pre ringing. He's granddaddy uh, single bit uh, um, uh, FPGA based conversion. Okay, and the analog guy that he works with now is uh, Bert Gerlach, which makes absolutely incredible designs for the output section. Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, he invented digital music, and it is the truth. Uh, you look on the patent from 1984, that's Andreas's name right there, okay? So the story goes like this. There are other companies that use Andreas's module. Andreas has a consulting company. That consulting company sells DAC modules. It's an OEM module, okay? Most companies take Jagra, okay? We'll call it Jagra just to call it Jagra, because I don't want to use its name. Um, that's one of the companies that buys his module. His module was what he used in his $6,000 DAC. It's, a, it's, it's, not a, it's not his top level stuff. It's the OEM module that everybody else gets. Most of these companies that are big name companies, they don't do their own in-house design of DACs. A lot of them hire it out to people that really know their stuff, like Andreas and like other designers. Uh, and so he sells these modules and OEM modules, and then they put the other stuff around it. And but but it is Andreas's module. It's three down from the top of the line. So there's the OEM module, then there's the six series, then there's the eight series, which is the DAC that you see here all the time. Okay. So the 8 series DAC, which is two levels up from the OEM module, is 24K for that DAC, okay? Now, Jagra, we want to call it, um, a very well-known brand, has been around a long time, just like Macintosh or whatever, you know, other brands, uh, uh, have been, Audio Research, been around forever. Um, this company has been around a long time and has a name that everybody recognizes, and so they can rest on those laurels and they charge 60 grand, some odd thousand dollars for their DAC. And they use the module or a derivative of that module, which is three down from the top of the line, 24K DAC from Playback Designs, okay? So if you go buy that piece, you're paying three times the amount for something two steps lower than the Playback Designs, okay? So... This is what I mean about getting hustled, okay? I tried to explain these things. They're so deep that I can only scratch the surface most of the time. There's just so much of it. And, I, and, and from being an insider, I understand so much of it that it's just, I just ignore it most of the time because it's like dreck. It's like stuff I don't even want to think about. But you guys deserve to know this because if you're going to go out and, 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 and get a brand like Jagra, you know, and you think, oh, I've got this really established name and it's such a cool piece because it's 60 grand and, and the guy discounted it down to 40 for me. So I'm getting a super good deal. Well, let me tell you something. You could pay 24 and get something two steps above that Jagra at 40 grand, which is discounted already 20 grand off. So... The dealer's not going to tell you this, okay? If they even know it, they probably don't know it. Because why is a dealer going to ask, who does your digital design to Jagra? They're not going to ask them. You're not going to ask, who does your digital design? They're not going to tell you anyways. They probably won't. So these are the things that a dealer that is in the know will tell you about so that they can sell you the highest value items on the market. OK, where they don't have to discount. OK, because at 24K, it's better than it's two steps better than the 60K offering from the fancy name brand that has been around so long and, and, and has all these this 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 aura around it. OK, it's marketing is what it is. OK, 
If you're buying for show, and this ties back into when I say how important is show to you versus go, how important is the whole aura around what you're buying and the look versus the sound? If the whole aura and the look about it and the in the background and the 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 the, the perception of that company is very important to you you're going to go to a certain type of dealer the box pusher is good for that they love to push these hyperinflated brands that have the whole mystique to them that really have no oomph in them okay and then there's the brands that don't advertise that are quiet because they don't need to advertise because they have the oomph and they are a third of the price and they deliver the goods two steps better than the one that's three times as much. Okay, so these are the kind of things that you want to know when you're making your hi-fi decisions and you're purchasing. You want to know about the inside information. Well, not every dealer is going to tell you that. Not every dealer is going to know that. So this is just another point that I wanted to make to you and tell you about the Wayback Machine and the Wayback Designs, Playback Designs, who started digital music and teach you more about their DACs. Now, it's not just the 24K. There is uh, one that they just released that's 15. And then I've got a secret for my Hi-Fi tribe that will be disclosed at a further time that will allow many more people to become part of the playback family. So I just wanted to bring that information to you because that's what I do. Like me or not, I tell you the truth. Sometimes the truth is ugly, but hey, that's the way it is. So thanks for joining. See you later. Don't forget to subscribe. I don't really, I mean, yeah, you can subscribe. It's cool, but join the Hi-Fi tribe. That's better because you're going to get more Mikey straight information. I have to behave myself to a certain degree on this channel and follow certain guidelines, which I don't do when I talk directly to you. So join the Hi-Fi tribe. You'll be privy to some private information and uh, and also some private offers. So just wanted to let you know. Thanks again. See ya.